Hey, this is Hedgy. I just wanted to do a video tutorial of the interactive teaser, quote unquote, PT. So this kind of just came out of Gamescom. They gave, they gave a little short trailer of it and said, go download it. And I didn't really think to do that at the time uh, until I went on NeoGAF and I heard some interesting details about the game. So I went and downloaded it, and I ran through it about three times, actually. Uh, I think this was the fourth time that I ran through it, this playthrough here, um, just because I wanted to do it uh, as quickly as possible, just so we can get, the, get through this vid uh, video tutorial. Okay, so the first little hallway, you're going to be seeing this hallway a lot. I'm, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you're here for a reason. There's not really much to do for the first few sections, uh, but there definitely is a lot to explore and kind of look at all the details around this hallway. Uh, that's what I did when I first went through the game, but um, you eventually have to do that on your own if you want to actually um, discover stuff. So, um, yeah, the first few hallways, they're all exactly the same. Uh, you don't really have to do anything. But uh, again, yeah, they're fun to look through, and just kind of walk, just kind of walk. <laughs> I completely forgot what to do there. Uh, you have to go to the end and just kind of suck it up. Actually, no, I did that properly. And then, yeah, you just have to go look at this little, uh, <laughs> did that properly there too. Um, you just have to go down and look at that R3 thing out there. Uh, just completely ignore the guy knocking on the door, whatever. <laughs> You, you, I'm sure you're, you've already experienced that. It's uh, again not a big deal. Uh, there are a little bit harder parts of the story. Uh, you have to piece together this picture on the wall here. As I, uh, I go up to it and just kind of look at it. Uh, there are a bunch of pieces. Here's the first piece here in the plan, in the planner plot. So that's piece number one. Now I'm gonna just quickly grab the one in the start menu. So you press start and just press R3, and you should get another puzzle piece there. Okay, now there's one near the teddy bear here. And I believe the next one I'm gonna grab is, yep, just uh, right beside the bathroom. You just kinda look up and to the right in that little corner. You should be able to grab that one. This is the second last one here. You just look back on the stairs and look down. And there's one just kinda hiding in the corner there, like a little piece of mold. Actually, yeah, I forgot one, as I kind of notice here. Uh, there's one right beside the clock. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. And that's all the puzzle pieces. Uh, I don't think that's actually uh, required for the story. I could be wrong. I think you have to get a specific number of pieces. You don't have to get all of them. But uh, I went out and uh, got them all, because why not? I was stuck at a certain part, and I didn't know what to do. So I decided that I needed to find all the pieces. Apparently, I've, yeah, I forgot about something here. Uh, you need to go to the end of the hallway, and to trigger this door opening, you need to try and get to the end door there. Just look through here. Oh, nip slip. Um, darn. That was, oh, that was, that was frightening. I actually, yeah, there's, there's a lot of jump scares in this game. That's kind of frightening. Um, I'm not really too good with jump scares, honestly. My my roommate was kind of freaking out <laughs> because I was freaking out. <laughs> um, it definitely creates a really good atmosphere here, though. It gives you like little little peeks at kind of frightening images, and then <laughs> just teases you a bit. It is a teaser, after all, I suppose. Uh, again, yeah, you just kind of walk through. It's more about the uh, horror and the um, the atmosphere for the for some of the uh, walkthroughs here. So you finally get your uh, first access into the bathroom here, and on the floor you find your flashlight. You get to see all the lovely um, wildlife here. Oh, well, what is that? Oh, I, I didn't even want to look at that. Uh, so you're actually locked in the bathroom here for a little bit. Uh, you kind of make yourself at home. This baby actually reminds me of uh, the chicken from Eraserhead, if any of you have ever seen that, which is kind of odd. Um, if you ever want to make fun of a movie with a bunch of friends, I would see, really suggest to raise your head. So, uh, right, what's happening right now is the door is kind of like, someone's kind of like trying to open it from the other side. 
and uh, to, to advance that, I think, I think you just have to look at the baby in the mirror here. Nothing uh, too complex. It's not really a puzzle. You just kind of like look at stuff, examine things to get things moving forward, and then eventually you'll be able to open the door here. Let's come out, and I think you just walk through the end door there. I think there's two more free sections here. You don't have to do any uh, puzzling. There's just uh, some extra story. And uh, I believe the scene after that is kind of a more gruesome scene. Again, all of this can be skipped, but it's it's really uh, it's really interesting to hear uh, all the details about everything, and it makes the makes the plot a lot heavier. Oh right. Okay. So before. The creepy baby hanging from the ceiling. Um, once the door is just uh, locked at the end, you just have to go. I kind of did it quickly there, but you just go to the right and on the desk with the uh, the radio. There's a picture frame, or it should be a picture in a picture frame, and it just says uh, "cross." I think it says like "poke out" or something like that. And you just press X out on it, and then the door at the end opens. Uh, just kind of walk past the uh, pane of glass crashing there. That definitely freaked me out the first time it kind of went through. Um, unfortunately, yeah, since the game kind of relies on jump scares, uh, once you go through the first time, it's not nearly as scary. So yeah, so uh, one more little bit of story here. Um, there's some writing on top of the door. There was a monster inside of me. I just thought I'd let you know, Jim. I I wanted to tell you, and I, I, I know, I know it's hard, um, but I, I'm a monster. Monster. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna say that. Um, okay, so here, this is where I was stuck for at least an hour and a half listening to a crying baby. Basically, you have to look at each section. Uh, there's hello on the wall written here, and on the other side, it's something to hell, or I came from hell. Um, and each time you look between the two different walls, one letter transfers between each, each wall. So the objective here is to spell out hell on, the, on this wall here. And I think I, uh, I didn't go close enough up the wall there. I was trying to, trying to rush things a little bit. You need to uh, definitely walk right up to the wall and examine it closely to be able to uh, trigger the letter movement here. Low. And whenever you hear the um, the kind of uh, ex exasperated breathing there, there's um, see the door just unlocked. Um, there's a way to kind of view your um, your your ghost. I don't know. There's there's a ghost or something, some sort of creepy creature crawling around in here. Um, and there's a bunch of different uh, places to view her. So, you can always do that if you want. Um, all right, yeah, so this is kind of kind of interesting. I, I eventually uh, just kind of took my time and ex uh, explored everything, but you can really, yeah, you just run through the whole section until you get to, uh, there's a certain part where there's a frame that's on the ground. I, did, I didn't really look at that in detail, I should have, uh, but basically there's a hole in the wall. You just need to examine the hole in the wall, and uh, you just need to hold R3 down for the sequence, and as soon as the story sequence is done, it'll kick you out, uh, out of the hole. So this is the people in the bathroom that you might have seen uh, earlier if you were examining everything. A little bit of a gruesome scene. I just uh, decided I would do toilet cam because that was... Uh, no turning back now. Oh, darn. Uh, I wanted to turn back too because I wanted to go back to all those other rooms that were exactly the same. That's definitely... Um, yeah, I really like the eyeballs in the wall. It's really, really, really creepy. <laughs> um, unfortunately, yeah, you're back to normal walking pace now, and it just kind of makes the game feel a lot slower. This is like the endless hallway, <laughs> just because it's so long. 
uh, eventually you go and repeat back. Okay, yeah, there's really not much in between uh, puzzle sequences um, right now. I think there's just one more room. So this um, this appears back to normal pretty much, but it really isn't. Um, you can't really go anywhere. You just kind of have to wait around. Uh, this is eventually where you do have to go. The, uh, the hole in the wall here, if you examine it long enough, after some uh, things have happened. Basically, there's like a little bit of a uh, glitching on the screen. And once that uh, once that passes, I believe it's three times. Three times you need to uh, view some glitching. Uh, just kind of look, go around, look at things. Yeah, see, that was the first glitch there. Just kind of look at things, and uh, you should be able to see. You should be able to eventually get the uh, the trigger for this event here. Leave one more. I thought that was enough, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> okay, so that's that's enough for the trigger, and you should get a lovely voice giving you a nice number. Now I'm not quite sure what this number is for yet. Um, it was also uh, on, I believe it was on the radio earlier. I only stayed around for it the uh, the first playthrough, so I'm not quite sure, but. Um, I'm not, yeah, I have no idea what this number is for. <laughs> I wonder if you can, like, enter it somehow or something. It, uh, it's really cryptic. I love that. And, of course, yeah, your Xbox is red-ringed. Wait, this is a PS4? Oh. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is some, uh, some Eternal Darkness stuff right here, man. And the game appears to have rebooted. Of course, that's not the case, but uh, it <laughs> sure makes it uh, seem like it. You start off in the same room. Now, this is as far as this video walkthrough goes, because I was unable to get through this part on this playthrough. Uh, but fortunately, I did record uh, my broadcast of the playthrough that I did beat the game on. And you can find that right here on my uh, YouTube account. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.